Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a home decor and craft supply shopping haul. So today, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of a shopping haul. I have not done one of these in a while. I did like some shop with me's and amazing finds, but not really much anything that I bought a lot of and brought home Dollar General, Goodwill, Dollar Tree, and some Amazon goodies as well. But before I get into the video, I just want to welcome you guys if this is your first time here. If it is, my name's Araceli and this is Araceli Chan DIY. I would love for you guys to join the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank you guys all for all the sweet comments that are still coming in on one of my previous videos. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I am currently um, doing okay, uh, much better than I had been. I actually did do an update on my other channel yesterday if you guys want to check that out. That way I don't go too much in depth about that on here and then also if you guys want to see or hear more updates about my uh, pregnancy. So you guys can head on over there. And then also if you guys didn't check out the video for <laughs> these little guys back here, it's also uh, linked in the description or you guys can just find it by scrolling through my page. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this shopping haul of mine. Like I said, I haven't done one in a while. Um, I'm having a hard time hearing myself. I don't know why my ears are very muffled and my nose is all stuffed and uh, you know, I'm just going through all those things that you go through when you're pregnant. I am honestly just trying to enjoy what I can and put aside what I can't control. Um, any hoozy. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Goodwill stuff because it's not very much, but um, just so you guys know, I bought a little bit of everything, whether it's just normal stuff or seasonal decor, because I still have one more Halloween video planned for Friday. Um, I also have a couple more fall DIYs and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Christmas because I know that's what's coming next. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I feel like I have my schedule down for the rest of this month and then October. So hopefully I can stay on it. You guys will get to see a lot of really cool stuff. I love just shopping for different stuff, whether they are specifically craft supplies or home decor that you can repurpose to use as a craft supply for another DIY to make into home decor, etc, etc. So one of my favorite places to go is Goodwill because they always have big items that are not very expensive. So I found this really cool palette sign, pretty sturdy, nice and heavy. It looks like this was maybe from a craft store or something. Um, it was only $2.99 and one of the things that I can do here is just pop up, pop the S right off of there. I thought this one was pretty cool because it is a really big piece and it's heavy duty, nice quality. And then I also just went through the Halloween stuff because like I said, I do have more Halloween stuff to go. And these are actually pretty sturdy. Um, what are these called? Um, please remind me <laughs> in the comments of what these are called. Ah, it's gonna bother me. So anyways, these were about 79 cents, so I just bought two of them. I think they're gonna make some really cute DIYs here hopefully and then we all know that Dollar Tree has a bunch of like vases and glassware and all of that but don't sleep on Goodwill sometimes sometimes they have Dollar Tree stuff there that's more expensive than Dollar Tree so don't fall for that but um so something like this it looks very grimy it needs to be cleaned definitely but it was a dollar 99 and I have something in mind for this hopefully it turns out how I want it to um so yeah, I got that. And then also for some fall DIYs or even winter or Christmas, I got this little bag of pine cones. And there's two big ones and like a little one. And it was, did they charge me $2.99 or $1.99? I don't know, this has two stickers. I don't remember how, which one they charged me for, but I think these will make really nice projects for the holidays. Okay, so I found a Dollar General about 15 minutes away from where I live. I have only been to one Dollar General like, close to where I live, but the time I went, I, it literally looked like a little grocery store. Not even a grocery store, but like a, like a minute market, and I just 
didn't know what the fuss was about. <laughs> so I skipped on that for a long time. And then I found out that there was a, a, another one open. So since there's a big, a big Dollar Tree that aways also, I just decided to go that way to hit up my three Goodwill Dollar Tree Dollar General. So I did actually find a couple of cool stuff. Um, I'm trying to redo the top of my um, craft desk. <laughs> I feel like everything I've done to it, it just, it get, I cut through it or I stain it or rip it or whatnot. So I did get some vinyl liner um, and I like the print on this one and it's a big roll. It's something similar that you would find to Big Lots. Um, but this was just a couple of bucks, so I went ahead and got that and then they also had some of their spring stuff on sale So I purchased a couple of things that again, it's home decor But you can flip it or repurpose it to make something else. So I just consider it like a craft supply um, They did have these really cute spring signs and they were two dollars, but it was buy one get one um, Free so I just got two of these so a dollar each. I mean pretty much what you would find uh, like Dollar Tree but these are actually a little bit thicker and more like heavier um, there's that and then I also found this cute little give thanks pumpkin with the beads that's a dollar similar to something you'd find at Dollar Tree um, I thought that was cute and then a little bit more on the fall just another little pumpkin decor looking thing that was a dollar I also just found a few like plain raw wood, not really wood, but you know, these <laughs> little wood, wooden craft supplies. So I found some tags and then also these are supposed to be like closet hangers, but I had something in my mind when I bought them, but now I don't remember what it was. I kind of want to go back to my hand lettering and stuff because that's what I used to do before I got my Cricut. I'm not saying I'm giving up my Cricut. I'm still going to be doing projects with my Cricut, but I do like hand lettering stuff. So. Um, I did find a permanent paint marker and these are always really good when you want to do your hand lettered signs. Well, so we'll see I guess um, if it works or not. And then I also just found some um, Scrabble letters, which they don't call them Scrabble letters. They're just alphabet tiles. So hopefully these will work for something for like Christmas. So that's it on my Dollar General. We're going to go ahead and move right along to Dollar Tree. You guys know what? I just had to pause for a little second because I have been having a really, really rough past six months and especially the last um, month and a half or so. So right now it feels really good to just <laughs> be back and just be blabbering along to you guys. Um, anyway, I did go to Dollar Tree. I got a couple Halloween things and then also some fall and of course some Christmas stuff. They don't have a lot of Christmas stuff out yet, at least not at the store that I went to. The fall stuff was picked through quite a bit and then there was still quite a bit of Halloween stuff. So I don't know if I've seen these before or not, but I actually really like these. Uh, these are really cute. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll just save it for next year, but we'll see. So I bought one of these. Not really Halloween stuff, but fall stuff. I had already purchased something like this. Um, I don't know if like the thankful, grateful, blessed stuff is played out quite a bit or not. I don't know. Either way, I purchased it. Um, could always take off the thankful, just leave the frame on its own or, you know, repurpose it to whatever way you would like. And then I know a lot of people have showed these, but <laughs> this is the first time that I decided to grab one, just like one of these big uh, pumpkin plaques. So I keep thinking that I remember what I'm going to do with them, but then when I think about it, I don't. And I think I had actually shown one of these in my previous um, new Dollar Tree finds. I thought these were really cute. They do have a lot of different colored ones for fall. But I feel like if you just take the fall elements off, they're perfect for Christmas also, especially if you want to paint them. They also have a lot of metal decals, and I just decided to buy the little truck one because that's always super popular during Christmas time, and they they just have a ton. So, still thinking about what I'm going to do with these, but that's cute. And one of my favorite things to buy at Dollar Tree because I always use them are their string lights. However, uh, let's see, I'm going to bring this guy over here. So I have string lights in here. 
and you guys can see that they're they're pretty good and they're small so it's like the wire LED or the wire um, LED string lights which are pretty flex flexible and stuff but I have not seen any of them in a while but that's okay because I actually stock up on these quite a bit because I use them a lot however this time around I found these LED lights which I I'm okay with these, but I feel like just the cable, you can see the cable a little too much. It's not nice and dainty like the string lights, but I needed some lights. So we went ahead and got these, and I think this is mostly for like the Christmas stuff, maybe for like their little Christmas trees and stuff. These are actually quite new to my Dollar Tree because I had never seen these before, but they do have these wired garlands with like the um, pine cones. And they did have different ones. I found some that are white and then other ones that have like spray painted silver on there. So depending on what look you want to go for. And then they are definitely coming out with a lot of different type of stems, like greenery and stuff. I picked up a couple of these. I have, you guys are going to see these in my next video for a Halloween DIY. Um, but these are definitely like more Christmassy. Um, if you want to go for like the glitz and glam type of Christmas. But if you don't, if you want to go to just the traditional Christmas decor, which I sort of enjoy more, then they have come out with pretty cool greenery that I did not have last year. Eucalyptus? Is it? <laughs> I think one of those things, those pregnancy things is that you lose your mind and you forget what you're saying, what you're doing. So anyway, I got uh, several of these. And then these they also carry at Walmart for like 97 cents each, but these have a little bit of glitter on them, which is fine, but just depending on if you can't find them at Dollar Tree, you might be able to find them at Walmart. And then I also got these little frosted fern stems. And I'm actually surprised because these are fuller than I would expect Dollar Tree to have. Dollar Tree has a bunch of greener, they have a bunch of florals, but sometimes they do tend to be a little bit on the bald side as if compared to if you were to go to like a normal craft store like Joann's, they always have really nice full um, florals, but then again, they're going to be more expensive unless you buy them off season, which that's what I normally do, and I am getting all the glitter all over my floor. So I got a couple of these, and then I always really like buying... Um, candle holders. I actually like these because you can put them um, either way I think they would look cute. Just notice that one is glossy, one is flat. I don't like that. I like the flat. I don't like the the glossy. Um, so anyways these are fairly new so I picked up a couple just in case and then probably one of my most favorite pickups from this Dollar Tree haul is this vinyl. It's permanent buffalo plaid. Perfect for Christmas. I have seen that Dollar Tree has gotten a lot of um, dupes for Cricut supplies. So you have vinyls, you have iron-ons, um, they have some of the tools that you would get with Cricut, but you know, for a dollar. Um, so I'm excited to see what more they bring. Um, definitely, if you guys do have a Cricut, but you don't want to spend as much on like the supplies, Dollar Tree is a good alternative, but I mean, you always have to kind of think of the quality and how long you want your stuff to last. But actually, surprisingly, Dollar Tree does have some really nice quality stuff too. So I'm not going to hang on that because, you know, that's where I'm my stuff. So I'm going to finish this off. <sighs> I'm going to finish this off with a couple of things that I purchased through Amazon. And I'm going to be linking these items down below in the description. So if you guys see something that you like, um, obviously on like the Amazon stuff, it'll be down there. So this is actually something that I had already showed you guys, but I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of wood stuff um, for the holidays. So instead of using my normal hot glue, I purchased this big box of wood glue, woodworking glue sticks and they are the full size. So this is a 10 pound, or no, I'm sorry, not 10 pound, 5 pound box. I think they do have like a 10 pound box of regular, like, not regular, but like the full size, but regular hot glue at Joann's. And that was like 24 bucks, but then you could always use a coupon on that. Um, but that's just regular glue sticks. I normally use the Gorilla Hot Glue, but I actually noticed that these are 
really good and I've been using these on not just wood um, on other stuff but definitely if you're gonna be doing some woodworking I would recommend going with a woodworking glue that way you don't have to um, wait for like the normal wood glue to dry or if you don't want to use um, uh, like super glue or anything like that so again this will be linked at the bottom <laughs> I really don't like when I forget words <laughs> um, natural wood slices we'll call them because that's what it says on the bag and I I'm not sure, oh, it's, it has 30 pieces. Um, I feel like these are perfect for Christmas DIYs. So, um, and then again, it was a pretty good deal. So I got those, really excited about these actually. And then more wood stuff. I also got this pack of square wood pieces and I know they have these at Dollar Tree. I think these are like 50 pieces. I haven't opened it yet. Um, they're comparable to the Dollar Tree ones, but obviously at Dollar Tree, you're gonna pay a dollar for them. This, I did not pay $50 for this box. It was a really good deal for the amount of pieces that are in there. And you can already see there's some really cute um, ideas for like a DIY on there. Excited for these, but mostly excited for these half beads. I'm not sure why. I always buy the full size beads, um, but this time around I decided to get some of these half beads. Um, and these are actually, I think there's 200 pieces in here. Yeah, there's 200 pieces in here. And they're about like a one inch, like the one inch if you were to put them like in, in one piece. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead, went ahead and purchased that. So <sighs> that is it for my haul today, you guys. Now I got to pick up all this stuff and then try to figure out what type of crafts I'm gonna make. I have some ideas, but that is it. I'm not missing any. Oh, one more thing actually. It's way back here. This is actually from Dollar Tree. I purchased several of these, but they have these nice wooden planks. Um, I don't particularly like that they have the pumpkin cut out. I understand it was the fall decor um, stuff. But you know how usually you guys will get like the signs that are already, you know, like the Halloween signs or Christmas signs or whatever signs. I like these because they're just like the natural wood. But you don't have to sand. You don't have to do anything to them other than paint or stain or whatever you want. Um, yeah, and maybe there's a way to cover up this thing if you don't like. But this is another nice little pickup item from Dollar Tree. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree. Dollar General, Goodwill, and Amazon haul. If you did enjoy this video, I would love for you guys to hit that thumbs up and then leave me any of your questions, comments, or any of that down below. And again, I will link these things in the description box. And thank you guys for all the love that you share and give me. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Bye.